Welcome inside the car before the storm. Lenny Green holding you down. Ladies, get in the most comfortable position you could be in because I want you to hold on to your seats. I managed to work this out. Don't ask me how I did this, but I'm so glad I worked it out for you because you are truly deserving of everything that I can give you. And this is the top of the year, so why not a special treat at the top of the year? So joining me tonight um, are three distinguished actors. Uh, one is a singer. I don't know why he's acting, but we're going to find out why. But these uh, three distinguished gentlemen have the uh, wonderful blessing of working under the umbrella of two dynamic and amazing individuals that we love. One, uh, Miss Oprah Winfrey. Two, Mr. Tyler Perry. So without further ado, uh, I have one from each show, one of these dynamic shows that Tyler has managed to uh, brainstorm and put together. And I often wonder what brother Tyler Perry goes to. I wonder what hiding place he goes to, what secret place he goes to to think, because the scripts in these productions that we have watched since they have emerged have been nothing but amazing and outstanding. So without further ado, let me welcome uh, one of the stars from If Loving You Is Wrong. Um, I believe they're going into season three. Midway through season four. Uh, Elton e. Williams, a.k.a. Randall. Thank you for having me. Now, he's a character in himself. I, 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 we're going to find out more about him. I also want to welcome uh, from, of course, my man from... The House of Pains, but I think the House of Pains is now retired, and now we're going into a new comedy show called The Pains. Uh, right. But I've been seeing this brother ever since he's been doing the stage plays. Uh, so he's been doing it for quite some time, uh, but it is a pleasure and an honor to finally welcome Mr. LeVan Davis, right on. a.k.a. Curtis. Yeah, yeah. Without Ella is with us. <laughs> and, and, and last but truly not least, uh, a, a distinguished uh, gentleman who has had a very interesting start to this very uh, wonderful industry called entertainment and acting, even though he got a scholarship for football, even though uh, <laughs> it wasn't in the, in the line. He went from football to being a personal trainer, and now he is a distinguished actor. It is a pleasure to welcome Mr. Tyler Leppi. Thank you for joining hey, us. Hey, man, I appreciate Thank you, you having me. Appreciate Thank you guys you. being here, man. Good to be here, absolutely. Lady. Man, how wonderful is life for each of you right now? 2018, top of the year. Always oh, good, man. man absolutely. It's great. It's no question, no yeah, question. Man. As I started the, uh, the, the intro, just to bring you guys in, you guys are working with Tyler Perry and the phenomenal Oprah Winfrey. Mm. That alone mm -hmm. speaks volumes. Yeah. It's, it's beyond crazy. So I'm going to start with you, LeVan, because you, you started working with him before he got into these TV productions. Strong. I really hadn't been with Tyler Long. Well, can't say that now. What the show was 12 years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, been a minute. it's crazy. Crazy. But, um, uh, yeah, I came when I came, he was actually starting on where we were this first TV show. And, which, and, and it, he was releasing his first movie. So I came right at that point when he was starting to branch out and just really start taking wings, you know. So, yeah, so glad to be a part of it. And, and, and Tyler, uh, speak on, because you're a new cat coming into this industry. You didn't even think acting was going to be in your, in your cards or destined for you. Um, how has life changed for you drastically? Well, what is life like right now? No, because, you know, life wasn't, you didn't think about acting, if I'm no. not mistaken. Yeah, no, no. You know, one, one thing is for sure, one thing I can take away from the whole experience is that, um, you know, to piggyback on what I was saying earlier is, you know, God is good because for me to look, uh, you know, if I had a crystal ball and I could stare into the future, yeah. um, there's no way, you know, when I was in college or even growing up before college that even when I just got graduated that I would have ever thought that I would end up being an actor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it's interesting how life, you know, has a, has a path for you. You know what I mean? No question. Um, you know, chasing that passion, it's been interesting. You know, for a, when I was playing football, I, I thought for sure I was going to be in the NFL. No question. You know what I mean? No question. Right. Um, and then, you know, when I graduated, uh, you know, I got into personal training. And then it's like I, I developed this passion for personal training. And it was like, you know what? I'm ready to be the next, you know, next not person. Billy Blanks, but, you know, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to put my work in. You know what I mean? <laughs> I and you. then it's like, you know, I moved to L.A., not really to, not to act at all. But then I found myself, you know, in this acting field. And now it's like, you know, now I'm trying to, you know, now I'm trying to chase the greats in this realm, you know, until, yeah. until I pick up the next passion. Elton, uh, you, psych major, right? Uh, yeah, well, I was actually a theater major, psych minor. Psych minor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But psychology was a great 
luxurious field. It was. I was trying to decide. It was either you know, do I do I, do I go into psychology or you know, study human behavior this way or study human <laughs> behavior this way? You know. <laughs> so you're studying human behavior in a character. Either, either way, exactly. And so I, so how has everything for you now? You know, because you've been with the uh, you've been with this production for quite some time. Yeah. And, and I gotta say, I I really hate your character. <laughs> uh, because I mean, because sometimes women get really into believing oh, 100%. what they see. 100%. And I don't know if you're challenged <laughs> in your personal life from the character that you play. Oh, they come at, yeah, they, they come after yeah. me, and not, not in a good way sometimes. Not you a know? good way. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it's all it's all love. You know, they they all appreciate it, and uh, you know, show much much respect for for Crazy Randall and everything he does. Crazy Randall <laughs> is soft. That that that's a soft way right. of saying he's crazy. Exactly. exactly. You gotta watch it, baby. You gotta watch it. Look, uh, <laughs> we're gonna go into some music. We're gonna come back and talk to these cats. Um, let's start. Let's start with classic. Levan Davis, you're from Kansas, man, Kansas City. You got a good, good football team right now. Yes, and I love my Chiefs, and we're going to figure it out. Well, you're right we'll along with me, year. so we're all figuring we'll it out. Next year. But give me musically, man, musically, where do you want to go? Because I want to play a song from uh, someone that came out of Kansas City. Someone out of Kansas City? Oh, yeah. that's easy. Aside from you. I could take it all the way back now. I ain't going to take it back to Joe Turner and them. Okay. All right. well, that's, yeah. that's, that's the love before now. Uh, that's before KC, me. and we love our, our, our blues. Yes, we you love do. our blues swing. But uh, you and me, girl. Oh, go a long way back. Go a long way back. All right, all right, young bloods. Go ahead. Who, na na <laughs> name the group. Na na name the group. Can you name the group? No. <laughs> Strike one. Uh, name the group. Uh, uh, Anthony, come on. Uh, I'm going to say. <laughs> take a stab, man. Just take a stab. The four tops. Y'all got some Googling to do. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come on, man. you got to be teaching these cats. Let's go a long way back. We're Bloodstone, baby. Bloodstone, baby. Bloodstone, this baby. is the car before the storm. Bloodstone. And actually, funny thing, little trivia, my mother sang with them in high school. No joke. She was the female singer with them, and they played for her as a band. This so is crazy. So we had to have Bloodstone wow. in my Got to. Yeah. Got to. Wow. Played it all the way through from blood, from that to natural high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. I know. I appreciate y'all for blessing us with that. Ladies, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm going to have to eliminate these gentlemen from the room. Too much testosterone in the room. <laughs> and, and and I know you, you're close. You're extra close to that speaker tonight. And thank you for turning me up in your cars. I'm Lenny Green. And I'm joined tonight by three of the superstars from, of course, Tyler Perry's Productions. We were talking about the haves and the have-nots. If love Loving You is Wrong, and of course, the new comedy series, The Pains, and uh, we have them all here today. I, I want to talk about um, level of excellence, level of excellence. I I'm sure, you know, you can't just work under or in a production uh, of these magnitudes for a consistent period of time without being faced with having to live up to a level of excellence. Obviously, I believe that you are each destined uh, to be exactly where you are right now. But upon being in the moment is being ready when you get in the moment. Mm -hmm. Because either you can hit a home run right. or you can strike out. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's the pressure like? Let's we'll start with you. Man, you got to, yeah, like you said, you, you got to, you know, you got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You know, you just just be, be ready for the moments because you never know when they're going to come along. You know, uh, some of us have been waiting a long time. You know, uh, yeah. some experiences that, you know, they fall but like like for Tyler, they have to be, you have to be ready for it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, been working at it, and uh, you, you take you take the pressure, and you it's, it's, like, it's like how a diamond is created, you know. Mm. That that you know they add that pressure to coal, and it just turns it into something just beautiful. And uh, you got to be ready to rise to the top when it happens. Tyler, what do you say? I mean, I think yeah. I mean, the first the first thing that you got to stay ready with is just um, you know the the tenacity to get after it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, as I look back at the last crazy been on the show five years already. Hmm. Uh, but you know, as I look as I look back, like um, you know, when we're thrown in the fire now, right now in the present of doing like ninety pages a day, it's like you know you don't have pages. yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot. It's you crazy. Know, a whole script. So when you see an hour, you see an hour long show, yeah. have and have nots on TV. Yeah. it's about forty five to fifty pages, right? Huh. So so that's like almost two episodes in a day. I mean, some productions are shooting an episode in a week, yeah. two weeks. 
So it gives you, yeah, I know, it's crazy, right? So when you're tossing the fire like that, it's like, what can you, you know, what can you rely on? You know what I mean? So everything leading up to this, you know, the, the voice work that I've done and, you know, the therapy to try to understand, you know, my emotions and, you know, obviously the scene work and, you know, just everything that you do, getting enough sleep. You know, because when hmm. when action is called, I mean, you got to do it all. Not not do it all to the, you know, to the level of excellence that's required, but you better do it on command. Right. So you know, it's a lot. Like you know, yeah. it, either you're gonna be a piece of coal that gets tossed out, or you're gonna exactly. turn into a diamond. Like Absolutely. like you, like my man talked about. Levan, now, how, how do you how do you discipline yourself to uh, remember? script is is tyler a, a stickler you know what the great thing about tyler is that people think that we just get on and just ad lib and that's not it you got to grow the tree before you decorate it wow so you got to know your lines you got to give your 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 um the your partner working with you they have to get their cue so you have to respect the lines and and tyler has written words that he loved and he wants to get a, 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 a point across and i must say he's doing some great writing these days and yeah. in my opinion yes, some stuff is. he's putting out on yes, us sir. and uh and with the other shows um but the, the, the great thing is once you learn your character it's easier to take it in because you know where it's going and then you are allowed to live it and that's the thing i love about working with tyler you're allowed to live in it you know, some 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 productions they are sticklers on the word. You change the word, they got to call the whole writing team and call. Yeah. You know, Tyler say yeah. have fun with it. Wow. You know, let's get my point across, but have fun with it, and that's the big fun for me. Wow. Hey, ladies, uh, we got him here with us tonight. Uh, Elton Williams, A.K.A. Randall. He's of course, if loving you is wrong. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't want to be, be right. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, LeVan Davis is with us from uh, the, the Pains, which is uh, definitely continuing. The, Ella and you are retired. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. But that doesn't mean craziness doesn't stop. It doesn't mean craziness Especially stops. when you don't get your woman involved with certain things. You try to still do things by yourself, man. Well, you know, well, Curtis believes his woman should be with him in whatever he gets involved <laughs> in. <laughs> so he going to keep it like that. <laughs> I don't know if Tyler, a.k.a. Benny Young, feels the same way. You feel the same way about that? Well, in terms of bringing my woman everywhere? Yeah. I mean, you know, if, if you have a rock, I agree. Yeah. And he has a rock. Yeah, so absolutely. absolutely. You know what I mean? definitely has and a when rock. You, and when you don't have a rock and you have a pebble? Well, then you better, you better shake it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're talking all that smack yeah. right now. Don't yeah. let them get yeah, in that sure, relationship. Make sure you got a rock and, and not a boulder either. You don't want to weigh you down. You don't want to weigh you down. These cats, man, I tell you, you know, they, they're putting in a lot of time, a lot of work. I want to talk with you, though. Uh, who's single? Tell the truth. I, I'm single. <laughs> single. Single, single, single. Single. But you've been in relationships. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So I'm glad you said that. So answer this question, because we just put this out there, and I'm sure a lot of ladies want to know this. Who does a man love more? The woman he lies to or the one he tells the truth to? Mm. Wow. I <laughs> feel like the right answer is the one he tells the truth to. You know what I'm saying? I th I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I think it's the one he lies to. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh. that's supposed to be a joke, ladies. I can hear no, right no, now. No, no, I know you mean that. Though. I know you mean that, Levan. I do. I, do. I mean, there's. I mean, I don't. It's, it's a tough question. Right. First of all, you shouldn't be lying to your woman. Right. Uh, you know. <laughs> you see, no, se you know. Second of all, I mean, I think it's. Man, there's too many variables. I mean, I think. I think the woman you love the most is the one you're going to keep it real with, though. 100%. I mean, that I, is true. I think there is some respect with trying to uh, take care of someone's feelings, i.e. lying to them. But, I mean, at the, at the core of that question, I mean, respect, respect has to be involved. I mean, I, I would think the woman you keep it real with is the one yeah, you really love. If the love. relationship is strong and you yeah. guys have that bond, you can tell her whatever. And you know, and and she's gonna understand. You may get the right, 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 right. Tell, right. And you better you better be able to duck, right? Bob and weave, but you know, there's a consequence to truth sometimes. Do you agree? Definitely, Absolutely. it's definitely a consequence to truth. And I want to know why I got to be the jerk <laughs> <laughs> and say, <laughs> "I am pretty boy." So why you can make it no, But you'll be happy to know that a lot of men have said that. I want to know why did you say it? I really <laughs> said it jokingly. It really, I really okay. said it jokingly because I, I do, I, I agree with Tyler, um, and actually that's one of my issues with relationships that I do keep it real, and I do tell the truth, and sometimes people don't want to hear that. Women don't want to hear the truth; they want to hear something. So I have to learn, just knowing your, knowing your mate and knowing how they operate, and what makes them happy. So okay, next question, gentlemen. Uh, ladies have a tendency to put us in a few categories, either with a brother. 
or the friend or the possible candidate, mm -hmm. right? So the risk in dating the best friend. I know you have a best friend, a lady best friend. Mm -hmm. Is it is it a risk or is it a reward? I think I think I think there's a lot of reward to it. I think uh, by having a lady best friend, first of all, you learn a lot. You say you, you learn True. a lot, for, you know, from from a source that's right there, a trusted advisor, confidant, um, and uh, and a lot of times that can turn into, you know, maybe something that you know, like they say, having your best friend as your partner is or, ideal, the ideal situation. Or, depending on how long the best friend is, though, uh, you could just stay that best friend or that brother, yeah. but you may want something different, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think um, you know, you set it up almost like you're crossing boundaries if you date your friend, right? That's like kind of how I, how I heard it. So I think on one hand, you know, that can be a negative if you feel like you know you're crossing boundaries. I mean, I think that you know, any, in, at least in my opinion, you know, in a good relationship, um, I think it's key to have like a friendship as your foundation. You know, if you can like yeah, the person key. after like you know a couple years, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to just having to be, you know. Uh, temptation or you're you know a victim of the flesh or lust or anything like that you know yeah. that can be fun mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying right. uh, but if you can grow into like being a friend or in this case you started as a friend I mean I think that can be a reward my brother you got you got the last I have this one. to be friends friends I have to be friends, friends with my woman yeah I, I I have to I haven't had a lot of relationships but the ones that I've had that that were substantial to me and that I've learned from and hopefully they learn from we were friends, and uh, it, that's important to me because you know. No, that's key. Mm -hmm. I I think that's really really important as well. Um, Elton, this may come to you first. Okay. This next and last question. Okay. So, um, we're talking about second chances, and Lord knows your wife <laughs> probably gave you more than second, second third, two, fourth, or three, or four right. chances, right? <laughs> so, would you be able to give, uh, forgive a person uh, a second chance if they came back into your life? And obviously, for them to to have left or may not have been under good terms in, right. in most cases. Right. We'll start with you first, brother. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think, like they say, time heals all wounds. So I, I think there's a time factor in there. Uh, most people depend on what they you know, may have done. Right. A second chance right. is is an option. Uh, if, like I say, if enough time has passed, you think they've learned from it, you've probably grown from it. And I think a lot of times, um, maybe that turns into the best best relationships when you're like we had this past we got through it now let's try it again I think it's possible well, but but it, but your character Randall does he think it's possible <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you what Randall thinks come on man you psych minor man come on you can think <laughs> Randall thinks everything and nothing at the same time you know he <laughs> I, I, I think Randall I think Randall eventually thinks it's possible I think he wants his cake and eat it too you think so two or three times but I think uh yeah, I'm, I'm putting it out there, Tyler. If you hear, if you listen to it, <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think I think it, I think it, it could be possible. If loving yeah. you is wrong, baby, watch it, watch it. Levan, we're gonna come to you next. Second chances. Second chances. Would you give a woman a second? It chance? depends. It depends on if, how organic it is, and if it's supposed to be an interesting thing. I'm kind of dealing with that now. Oh. I don't want to say nothing. She might be. It's listening. tough. Right, I got you. It's tough. Because you are, you have a tendency to want to live in the past, so you try to let the past go. Right, because if you forget, you live in the now. You gotta forget. You gotta. Well, I don't know about forget. <laughs> <laughs> forget. I don't know about forget. Right. But you know, it depends on the situation. I think. Tyler. Uh, I mean, to be to piggyback on that a little bit, I definitely think it. Uh, you know, it depends on the situation. Um, you know, simply put, I do believe in second chances. You know, we all we all sin, we all make mistakes. So, um, you know, if someone is led back into my life, I'm definitely gonna you know. Uh, take a step back and, and give it a good look and see if it deserves it. So I, I do believe it. Um, but with that being said, there are times where you know things can be toxic, and if it comes through, you can you can forgive and try to you know forget and find that peace for yourself, and and not allow that second chance. You can also do that too. So again, I think it just depends on what the scenario is. We are honored and, and I'm privileged to have in this opportunity to sit down with you, gentlemen. I've been watching your body of work and uh, watching you, Brother LeVan, for a long time, and uh, it's been phenomenal. And I wish you each continued success. 
Can I, I just say, Lenny, I am so honored to be here with you, brother. Oh, I've brother. known you a lot of years. Yes, sir. And you've always represented as a gentleman. Thank you, brother. And just much respect, big brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, I man. appreciate that. I appreciate much that. respect. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, I've been listening to Quiet Storm for a long time, but yeah, well, I, I tried to drop my voice to be <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Brother, you know what? No, but I tell you what. You drop your voice and let me get the packs. Like All right, you there guys you go. <laughs> and I'm good. We'll give I'm and good. take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look at five to ten years. Uh, where do each of you... I mean, you know, you have this blessing. You know, you work on these wonderful shows that Tyler has, Tyler Perry has uh, written, produced. Um, but obviously, there's beyond, you know, this life beyond. And but one thing I love about Tyler Perry, and kudos to Tyler once again on this, is that once he finds the right set of folks, and, and you're a clear example of this, he likes to recycle them into different ways. And I see this happening. I don't know uh, if um, Randall will always be, you know, you will always play that Randall kind of guy that, that I don't know if Benny is always gonna be that guy, but he sees diversity obviously in each and every one of you. So uh, I see there's a lot of growth in whatever you guys do next. Appreciate but um, but what, what do you think what happens next for you, Tyler? We'll start with you. What would you like to do? Well. Uh, so uh, today's Tuesday. Up next, we got Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> day by day, <laughs> right, we got day by day. No, but I mean, I think you know, it's it's hard. It's hard to try to you know uh, call it out specifically. I do know. I do know this. You know, if I would have taken myself five years ago, ten years ago, right. and I would have said. Um, you know, if I would have tried to predict where I was going to be at right here with you, there's no, there's just no way I would have been able to do it. God is too powerful. You know sure. what I mean? Absolutely. But one thing that's for sure is, you know, in five to ten years, I know that I'll still wake up every day with the same tenacity to try to, you know, uh, discover why I'm here. You know what I mean? And it can it can be easy to lose that when you get a little bit of, you know, quote unquote success. You know what I mean? Slow right. down a little bit. You start eating nice, wearing flashy. Absolutely. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, you know, I, I still want to make sure that I'm do, I'm doing what I'm here for. I, don't, I definitely I'm a big believer of not wasting talent or opportunity or, you know, life itself. Absolutely. I like that, man. I'm gonna, yeah. I would take a page out of that. Yeah. To be back on that. Yeah, man. Uh, you don't want to want to throw away your shot. You know, uh, you want to. Mm -hmm. You want you want to take take every day as a blessing. Keep that fire. Keep that hunger. Um, I've been doing a lot of writing and, and, and starting producing myself. So that's oh, why wow. I see yeah I see myself uh you know starting following Tyler's steps a little bit. You yeah, gotta create my own contact con content. And, uh, Keep it going with that. So. I'm, I'm waiting for a radio role. Hey, uh, hey, radio. you got it. Let's talk. Let's talk. Because hey, there's that, a lot of with, situations with that radio. voice. Yeah, a radio you got role. Levan. Singing career, you, you're going to be coming right behind Bloodstone and, and put Kansas City back on the map strong. Because well, I know friend, you worked with David Peaston for a minute, too. Well, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, David, David, that was my, that was my cat. That I was called, my cat him, too. called him dad on the stage because he played my father. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, another great human being, man. But um, Kansas City ain't never been off the map. Kansas City is there. It represents. Uh, my I did my CD project, which is actually a big band. It's a tribute to Kansas City. It's wow. a big band swing thing. Um, so you look for that. It'll be out soon. Um, five to ten years from now, riding on my man again, on Tyler. I could not have fig. I couldn't have planned this. So I have. I do know what I want to do. Aspirations. Mm -hmm. I want to produce and I want to direct. I want to put my voice out there, things that I want to see and I want, want to have done. That's my plan. But my career has been my work getting me work. And, and I'm, I'm blessed to do what I love. And I'm a student of life. And every time I learn something, I get another opportunity. Mm. So I'm just going to stay on that path. And what it brings, I'm going to give it everything I got. Well, you know what? God has uh, definitely ordained and blessed each and every one of you with abundance. So uh, may you all continue to strive in his glory and uh, his grace, man, and, and just take it to the next level. This is a wonderful opportunity for you gentlemen. So I look forward to seeing more body of work. Thank you. Hey, man. Thank you, Lenny. Thank you. And, and the characters are going to be kind of crazy. I know that <laughs> along the way. Ladies, make sure you lock into own, 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 own. And trust me, you will not turn away. You could look at own every day of the week. And you know what? I just one thing before I let them go. It's one thing I did not get a chance to talk about Chicago. Chicago Pete. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> come on now. Come on now. All right, man. You know, look, look, look. I'm born and raised in New York, man. Yes, sir. I went to Chicago a few months ago. First time. First time. And I said, take me to this deep dish 
Chicago pizza. Not only does a small deep dish cost uh -huh. me like thirty dollars, <laughs> <laughs> worth every but penny. It wasn't that great to me. It I, wasn't that great. Oh, no, I thought you was going somewhere else with that. <laughs> nah, man. I hate to say it, brother. I think I, I gotta take my city. What? Have you tried New York pizza yet? I have, I have, and uh, it's delicious. But your opinion is very wrong. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay, all right, <laughs> what, what do you say the most important thing to pizza is? Um, for it to be deep dish and from Chicago. No, the sauce. You know, you got to put the this. Sauce, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. The sauce has just. I think I just had a bad ordeal. Maybe where'd you go? Do you know? Somewhere where it was like, whack. Lou Malnati's. Go to Lou, <laughs> Lou Malnati's next time you go. Okay, I'm gonna remember that, guys. Yeah, Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. I look forward thank to you. seeing y'all on OWN. Make sure you check them out, baby, because they're going to be doing their thing. The pains of loving you is wrong, and, of course, the haves and the have-nots. Quiet Storm up next. Stay close. Thanks, Lenny. Thanks for having us, brother. Thanks, Lenny.